Hey, what's going on guys? Aram Case here. I know I've been missing for a couple months. I'm very sorry about that. I was very, very busy. Had tons of projects, film, color grading, photo shoots. I was completely slammed and didn't want to release a mediocre work. Anyways, I'm back. Here is my latest video and today we're gonna actually split this video into two parts. The first part that I'm gonna show you right now is we're actually gonna do a color grading on this monkey video that you can download from red.com website in the sample files and you know repeat the tutorial or play along or do whatever you want to do it's a uh, free sample files so hopefully you can download it and follow along anyways so let's get started enough of chit chat and the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go to the clip and I'm going to change the color space I'm sorry gamma curve from red gamma 4 into red lock film so that gives us a little bit more flat image as you probably already know we should work with next thing I'm going to do I'm actually going to go into the settings and under general options I'm going to click luminance mix default to zero basically you can do the same thing over here in every node but I like to default it to zero that way when I create a new node it stays at zero rather than at hundred and then I have to dial it back personal preference doesn't really make any difference anyways so as you can see this image by default it's actually pretty hot so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a new node and I'm gonna leave this node right now empty for a second and I'm gonna call this exposure okay exposure just like that and I'm just gonna start bringing it down a little bit because right now it's extremely hot and we don't need such a highly exposed image okay so like that looks better I'm gonna create a new note and this note I'm gonna call contrast okay contrast just like that and for this one I'm simply just going to start increasing contrast and as I'm increasing contrast saturation also being increased okay as you can see when I'm increasing this our scopes start going up again so I'm gonna go back to the exposure node and I'm gonna start bringing it down to kinda compensate a little bit okay so like that looks good let's check it out before and after huge difference as you can see okay and then I'm gonna create a parallel mixer I'm sorry let me create a new node and I'm gonna convert it into a parallel mixer so for this one I'm gonna call it saturation even though we don't need too much and for this one I'm gonna call it sharpening okay perfect so let's go into saturation and simply I'm going to e increase saturation right over here sorry I got a little bit lost okay so like that looks great let's check it out before and after okay now sharpness there's actually a couple ways you can increase sharpness and one of the ways I'm gonna show you is if you're gonna, gonna go over here into blur panel you can click sharpen and if you bring those things down a little bit it sort of sharpens the whole image that's one way which in this situation I think is gonna be the best way the second way you can actually increase the midtone details as you're gonna start cranking it up you can see that we're increasing the general midtone details but like I said in this tutorial the first way I think is the most optimal one okay so let's go back to the sharpening lower it down a little bit and we can see that our image start getting very very sharp and we start getting really really intense details on this monkey eyes so let's check it out really quick the whole thing before and after that's like completely night and day okay so let me do another note and I'm gonna call this one blue okay I want to take away a little bit of blue from this picture because I think it overpowers the the image a little bit and I can do it manually or I can do it by the new dropper the white balance tool so let me click on the monkey hair and see what's gonna happen okay so like that looks better let me call it white balance okay and then I'm gonna create another note and in this note I'm just gonna start pulling 
blacks a little bit more okay and at the same time highlights a little bit up okay let's check it out before and after before and after slightly more kick i'm gonna call this one contrast again okay and finally i know we're going we're doing like tons of notes but it doesn't matter how you get this technically we could have done everything in couple notes but i just want to show you guys the process behind what i'm doing and kind of the thought that we hopefully can learn along so i'm gonna go hue versus saturation i'm gonna click on the blue and i'm just gonna drag blue just a little bit down because i don't want to have a little patch of blue sitting in a corner so i really like it like this i guess we're done with the parallel mixer let's create one more note and in this note, I'm just going to increase the contrast even more. Okay, just like that. So we sort of have a nice Rec 709 image, but we got there manually by doing manual stuff. So let's zoom in really quick and see how it plays back. Let's check it out really quick. I mean, look at, look at the details. That's absolutely fantastic. So before, everything washed out and after very nice details very nice image let's loop it and see how it plays so that looks already so much better now the few other things you can do in particular if we want to bring more details to this monkey uh, let's say it's a sort of animal planet beauty shot what we can do is create another node okay i can grab a gradient tool just like this okay let's select the highlight and see how much it's affecting the area okay so gradient tool like this is perfect okay and i can actually darken it a little bit okay and i can go to the blur panel and i can add a little bit of mist which sort of gonna blur out the whole picture so let's check it out before and after before and after and i think that kind of detail helps us to focus our eyes towards the monkey even though the shot have amazing shallow depth of field but i think if we can do a little bit extra that definitely helps to bring our attention towards details like that assuming you know you don't have the project with you know ten thousand shots in it and it's kind of something short that you want to really showcase the quality of the camera or the footage all right thank you so much for watching guys i'm actually going to continue this tutorial in the next video and we're going to cover what is the difference between running noise reduction in the first node versus the last node and i'm going to publish that video the following day so make sure to check it out thanks for watching subscribe and i will see you soon